Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is the does timer exist node. The does timer exist node is one of those nodes that used to have a lot of use before timer handles existed. But now that we have timer handles, it's a lot less needed. We're going to cover it anyways. So there are two versions of the does timer exist by does timer exist node. We have the by handle. And if we type in timer, we'll get the by function name. Now previously, before handles, when you created a timer, you had no real way of referencing it. You had to do it by the function name itself. So if you did the does timer exist by function name and put in the function name, you could determine if there was a timer that was there or not. That is an older version. Now we use the timer handles. Timer handles are created, of course, as the output pin when you create a timer. In this case, I'm saving it as a variable called timer handle. And we can easily check if it's valid or use other various methods. Now the does timer exist by handle node, which is what we're going to cover here, takes a timer handle as an input and outputs true or false, a boolean. And the intention is to tell you if it exists or not. Not if it's running, not if it's paused or unpaused, but is it a valid timer? So for example, have we started a timer and are we currently running it does it currently exist that's why it's called exist for example if we hit play when i hit stop basically it is pausing the timer handle variable and then telling me if it exists and if i hit stop again it's going to unpause it so all this is doing is pausing and unpausing now since i haven't done something i don't have a timer running we're going to get back false every time now that i go ahead and hit do something we're creating our timer and we're counting up. We are basically have like a health regen on a character. Now if I pause it, we're going to get back true. We have a valid timer that exists somewhere in our state. Right now the state is currently paused. If we unpause it, well, we're going to get back true again because it still exists. Paused or unpaused, we have a valid timer. We haven't done anything to it. We haven't cleared it out. Now I'm going to take it, I'm going to hook this up over here to my next set of nodes. All we're doing first of all is we're going to print the valid timer exists state of our handle. Now we will get the same result as we did before. False, because I haven't created a timer yet. Now if we create a timer and I hit stop, we're going to get back true. My stop button isn't hooked up to anything, it's just telling us the current state and our current state as you can see here is our timer is counting up. So we good, we have a good timer. If I was to plug in my clear and invalidate timer by handle node, hopefully you can guess what's going to happen. This takes my timer handle, clears it and invalidates it, and then I'm going to print out if it exists or not. We hit play, let our timer count up, and hit stop, and we're going to get false. Our timer shows nothing here, because we've cleared it and our let's start it up again and hit stop and our result is false for it existing because it no longer exists we have a variable but our variable is currently empty because it's been cleared and invalidated by this previous node so while our variable does exist the timer this variable itself here for our timer handle holds nothing therefore we have no valid timer and therefore our result is false this is going to wrap up our does timer exist by handle node.